After an initial alert highlighting increased seismic activity at Kikam Jenny and a subsequent press release confirming that the activity subsided, the National Disaster Management Agency is reporting no further change in activity levels. In a statement released on Sunday, NADMA said it was advised by the University of the West Indies Seismic Research Center, the UWISRC, that the elevation in seismicity began on February 9th at 11.14 p.m. Noting that the increased activity continued until 3 a.m. on February 11th, the release revealed a count of up to 3,400 events, with the largest measuring a magnitude of 3.3, which was recorded on the 10th of February. The NADMA release further stated that since 3 a.m. on Sunday, the activity subsided in magnitude and frequency to almost a complete stop. NADMA cautions that activities at Kikam Jenny can either increase, decrease, or remain at normal readings. Based on information from the Seismic Research Center, the alert level remains at yellow, which means that the volcano is restless and seismic activity is above historic levels. This level also means that all marine interests should maintain the exclusion zone of 1.5 kilometers. The UWISRC will continue to monitor the submarine volcano and provide update analysis of the situation. National Disaster Coordinator Terence Walters told GBN there is no need for panic at this time but the National Disaster Management Agency continues to monitor seismic activities at Kikam Jenny. Walter said there are four fully functional seismic stations in the north of Grenada monitoring Kikam Jenny. The systems were recently upgraded and a new one installed. Former Acting National Disaster Coordinator Sylvan McIntyre says it is important that people are aware of the dangers posed by a submarine volcano. It is, it is, it is critical for people to understand that a, a submarine vo volcano, it is dangerous because there are some hazards associated with it, as yes. you were asking. Um, if there is an eruption of a particular capacity, there could be tsunami generated as a result of that. Yes. And there could be wave action that can cause sea surges, sea surges and it could lead to coastal erosions and um, damage to the coastline, etc. But as it stands now, over the 13, 14 times that it has erupted, there has not been any indication or anything of that magnitude that has happened. McIntyre detailed what has happened over the years as it pertains to the development of Kikam Jenny. What is also important to note is um, the, the, the volcano was growing rapid and was intended or likely to become an island sometime in the future. It was growing at a particular rate. Okay. But within the last couple of years, there has been some eruptions underneath that was not massive to come up to the surface, okay. but it broke that, that cone and led to some, some spill runoff that has decreased the growing tendency okay. of when it was going to come up. So right now, it is just under 300 meters below sea level, about 273 to 275 meters on the sea level. So that is not very deep that the, that's the the, the 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 rim technically of the volcano itself okay. um, it is just about two seven something on the on the sea level since the discovery of the volcano it has erupted over 13 